Hey, Scott Tess, good morning. Really just a tragic situation. Police say that these were two friends riding on the trails. They don't know how exactly it happened, but the UTV, they say, rolled over, burst into flames with the girls trapped inside. Now, they were pronounced dead at the scene. They've been identified as 15-year-old Madeline Taylor Cross and 16-year-old Rylan Lee Pogi. Uh, we're showing you some video now of some UTVs, and they found that UTV upside down on the trail over by 64th Street and Pinnacle Peak Road. I spoke with Lori Lancaster. She used to rent out these UTVs for a living. She actually lives in the area, too, and she has some real concerns about more people jumping on these things with the weather cooling down. Take a listen. You can flip those quad runners so easily. So, you know, without chest protection and the proper helmet and the proper gear, I mean, you still, it's, it's just, it's a dangerous sport. And unfortunately, you know, with COVID and everybody coming out of the woods and learning how fun the outdoors are, you know, so many people nowadays have these off-road machines and it, it's a percentage, you know, there's so many more machines. We're going to have a lot more accidents. You guys, it seems like every couple months we report a story like this, whether it's up north in the high country or here in the valley with all these trails we have. And Lori wants to remind people that, of course, you need to wear a helmet, have chest protection, but you really need to make sure that you slow down on these UTVs because they can reach speeds up to 70, 80 miles per hour. And if you're making some tight turns, like she said, it is very easy to overturn these vehicles. Scott, Tess? That's exactly when they flip over, when mm -hmm. you try to turn and you're going too mm -hmm. fast. So speed is always a factor. But, Thank you, uh, David. Really sad. Yeah.